Millbury girls basketball team undefeated headed into district play. The Woolies hosting Sutton tonight. Now, these two teams played two weeks ago. Millbury won that game by 18 points. So Sutton looking to pull off the huge upset. It would be their 1980 Olympic hockey team moment. So could they do it? Great Sutton fans out tonight. They got the signs on the road. Second quarter, Lauren Arthod knocking down a three for Sutton, ties the game up. Then Arthod taking the charge on defense. Wow! That is taking the charge. She almost got knocked right into the wall. Milbury, Ariel Doobie, putting back her own miss. Woolies up by two at the half. Third quarter, Natalie Frioli. Beyond the arc. Fry sticks to three. Sutton's up by one. Arthod with the jumper. Susie's up by three. Milbury. Nice feed to Samantha Brady. Brady converts, converts, and the Woolies are down by one. Fearless Fry for three. Frioli drills it, Sutton up by four. Doobie down the other end. Beyond the arc. Milbury up by two. Sutton's Mackenzie Cox. The offensive rebound. The putback. Sutton up by one. Back and forth we go. Doobie the runner. You got it. Milbury's up by one. Carmen Nieves. Stop and pop. It drops. Sutton up by one. Sutton pulls off the huge upset. They win a thriller 43 to 42. The barnyard rocking tonight. Sutton hosting University Park campus or Main South tonight in boys basketball. First quarter, Evan McVeigh with a three. Sutton up by five. Moments later, McVeigh a deeper three. Nothing but net, and the Sammies are up by eight. University Park's Marquise Jones. The runner, and he's fouled. And the Cougars are down by six. Nick Maslick beyond the arc. Sammy's up by nine. Then it's Tucker Harl. Up and under for two. Sutton up by 11. Down the other end, Jones taking it strong to the rack. The hoop and the hack. Second quarter, Maslick. Three, Sutton up by 12. Then the Sammies on the run. Maslick, the finish. More from Sutton, more from Maslick. The ISO, good handle, strong take. Sutton gets the win, 64 to 55. And the barnyard is loving it. Worcester Tech taking on Assabet Valley Tech Boys Hoop Playoffs, Division IV quarterfinals. First quarter, Zaire Pert with a three. Worcester Tech up by three. Aztecs on the run. RJ Grasso, the finish. And they're down by one. Pert knocking it down from beyond the arc. Eagles up four. Worcester Tech's Brendan Hamilton. Good touch in the lane. Eagles up six. Aztecs, Isaac Knight with the spin move. And they're down four. Worcester Tech, a little give and go. Victor Florentino, the finish. Eagles up six. Aztecs, Knight. Puts it back and he's fouled. And they are within four. Jerry McManus, long jumper. They're down by two. Second quarter now. McManus feeding Javier Lazardo. Lazardo pulling out the range finder and he ties the game up. Fast bait. Grasso the layup. Asimut up by two. First lead of the game for the Aztecs. Worcester Techs. Jose Bonilla. Just sticking a long range jumper. Worcester Tech gets the win 60 to 54 in another great game tonight. Great crowd at the North Star. Wachusett and Auburn hockey playoffs. First period, 1 0 Wachusett. Joe Flynn, the blast for the goal. It is 2 0 Wachusett. First career goal for Flynn. Couldn't have come at a better time for him and his teammates. Shane Sullivan, Barron in. Good bid. Cam Carpenter, the save. Auburn's Corey Fortier. The breakaway. Fortier lights the lamp. Auburn's on the board. It's 2 1. Then Wachusett firing it on. Carpenter the save. Seconds remaining in the period. 
Zach Davies sprawled out on the ice, pokes it home for the goal. Ties it up at two. Just an incredible, incredible goal. Opening seconds of the second period. Jimmy Conway. He pokes it in. 3-2 Wachusett. Wachusett goes on to win this one. 5-2. Your final tonight. All right, the City View Run is brand new Run Walk 5K. It's going to take place on Sunday, March 26th, starting on Shrewsbury Street, the Warmtown Brewery. All of the proceeds are going to benefit the Worcester Boys and Girls Club. They have more information on their website. You can go to their Facebook page as well, the Worcester City View 5K. Again, going to be a great afternoon, uh, fun and games, the run, the walk, and all of the proceeds going to benefit the Boys and Girls Club of Worcester, March the 26th. Get down there and support the Boys and Girls Club. And one of the score for you tonight, the Nichols men's basketball team won the first NCAA playoff game in program history. First time they were ever in the NCAA playoffs. They beat Newman on the road 96 to 93. Congratulations to the Bison. Their incredible season continues and they're so young. All freshmen and sophomores really driving the bus for that team. Thanks, Kevin. For Kevin Shea, I'm Catherine Andrioli. Thanks for watching Worcester News tonight. Have a great weekend.